Hello again and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. My name's Joe Wicks and this is a 15 minute, low impact, easy on the kneesy workout, which means 15 moves, nice and gentle with good control, good tempo to avoid any high impact and hopefully help you, you know, get the joint working but really think about building the strength through the quads, hamstrings and glutes. Okay, so it's gonna be a great workout. Hope you enjoy it. Um, it's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. If you are struggling and you don't like a certain exercise, please switch it or just skip it and then rejoin for the next move, okay? So go at your own pace. It's, um, as I said, 15 minutes, a nice short workout. And we're gonna start things off by doing a bit of a knee smash. So it's basically gonna be, that sounds a bit aggressive, doesn't it, a knee smash? But it's actually a nice gentle exercise. So feet sort of shoulder width apart, arms up like this, and you're gonna bring that knee up towards your um, hands. So you're sort of smashing the knee into the hand. So we're gonna, you'll feel your standing leg work. And also by bringing your knee up above your waist, you're gonna feel your, your abs work. Okay, so your obliques are getting a little bit of a workout. So stretch the arms up, we go left, Bring that, uh, sorry, knee to the left hand, right knee over to your left hand, left hand, over to the left, and then we'll do 40 seconds on the other side. Okay, so from there, we go step. Brilliant, so we're driving that knee up and across the body. Right knee comes up, and then we obviously switch and do the left side. So you can do these much faster, look, if you want, but you can also do it really slow, so stepping from there, drive up, lovely. Just really gentle, low impact. You're loading this standing leg, and you're trying to you know, use that balance in that, leg and bring your knee up as high as you can towards the hands. Lovely. Every exercise is different, well it's 15 minutes and they're all different. Right, 10 seconds to go, stretch, drive. Last few reps on this. So really drive up, three, two, one, and relax, lovely. So you are, you're, you know, getting a little bend in that knee but you're not, you're not squatting right down and you also, you know, you're not, there's no impact, your foot's flat on the ground. That's what we're trying to do, keep a nice stable foot. Right now it's gonna be the other side. So left knee comes up and across the body. Drive, bring it up. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. So 40 seconds on this side. Really bring it up. Obviously you can step closer or you can step wider. Whatever you like, just sort of lean slightly over to the side. Load that right leg, drive the knee across. Lovely, you're doing great. So 20 seconds on the clock. Then we rest, we're gonna go into our next exercise. <sighs> Lovely, come on, 15 seconds. Stretch those arms up nice and high. Bring the knee up and across the body. Put that foot down nice and slowly, and up again. Right, last few reps. You can definitely feel it in the outside of the thigh and the glutes. And rest, yeah, you can feel it all through there. Great start, two, two moves complete. Number three, what we're gonna do here is a squat kind of variation, but again, I'm not expecting you to get right down into this squat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat gently, step to the right, squat back together, squat out, squat, you know, step out to the left, off we go. So, so it's a narrow squat, step to the right, squat, center, back to the left, and you're just stepping those feet out. And again, you're trying to just get the bend in the knees that you can get, okay? So slow it down, step, center, squat, step, and just obviously bringing those feet, so nice and narrow to begin with. Then it's a wide step to the right, squat again in the centre, step to the left. So we're doing this gently, and you're trying to control yourself on the way down and on the way up. Squat down low as you can. So there's no impact here, we're just trying to keep the feet flat on the floor. And you know, you might not be getting a full bend in the knees. You, can, you might just be the tiniest little bend. You're still, you're still activating the quads, they're still working. And as you get a bit stronger and you start to strengthen all this, it will stabilize your knee. Okay, next exercise. We're basically doing a little bit of a lunge. We're gonna to basically touch the floor and step back. So right foot goes back, touch the floor. Okay, so your fingertips hit the floor. So what we're trying to do here is sort of load the hamstring in a way. It's not really a back leg lunge. It's more a hamstring kind of exercise. So we're trying to touch the toes, feel the stretch in the back of the hamstring and drive up. Okay, so it's a slight bend in that left leg Feel the stretch through the hamstring, and then really pull with your hamstring and glute, like pull yourself back up. So stretch, good, you're just leaning forwards, fingertips come forwards, stand up straight. So yeah, we're not really using the quad here, like it's actually like more of a posterior exercise, so we're trying to pull with the back of the leg. Okay, last one, so stretch forwards, touch the floor, and pull. I'll now show you from the other side. So again, it's not like I'm doing a lunge and really bending this front leg and using my quads. I'm actually trying to use like my hamstrings and glutes. So I'm really just 
stepping back slightly, I think it's a stretch in here and then pull in those muscles, yes, yeah, so pull your hamstring, so stretch back, off we go, step back, stepping the foot back, hamstring stretch, pull back with those muscles there, so now your right hamstring and glute should be working, you should feel it all through the back, step back, good, touch the floor just in front of you, lovely day today, it's so warm, stretch back, it's been a good summer in the UK this year, slow and stretch good stretching the hamstring so load it and then using this muscle here like the hamstring and glutes pull back stretch pull back last one oh lovely you definitely feel that in your hamstrings so that is number five complete we're now going to do a curtsy lunge this is a bit like a a curtsy to the queen you're going to sort of bend that leg and bring it across the body so sort of back and across again I'm, i can get right down i've got obviously the knees and hips for it but if you don't feel you've got to get right down even a little little bend at that low again it's just about getting that bend because once you get that bend you're loading the quad you're building the strength through your legs so just a little step back obviously the lower you go down the harder that's going to be the more, the more muscles you're going to recruit just go as low as you can and trying to get that knee in the bend, uh, bend in the knee and trying to sort of do a curtsy if you like. Lovely, so stepping back and across. 15 seconds to go. Because if you've got, you know, sore knees or dodgy knees, we, we have to work through, you know, the, the joint and, and really strengthen it because if you don't do anything, you never bend the knee, it just locks up, it gets tighter, it gets more, 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 you know, discomfort. You, you think about, you know, strengthening all these muscles here and you think that it sort of stabilizes that in your hamstrings as well. So this is great, you know, but just if anything's niggling, ease back a little bit, do a few less reps, have a little bit more rest. Okay, next exercise, we're gonna do a sumo squat. So sumo squat like this, wide stance, arms, and just come out of this. So we're sort of holding the squat whilst opening up our chest, squeezing our shoulder blades back together. Obviously, if you can't go right down, again, just a, this is straight leg, this is a gentle bend, reach open, fingers together, imagine you're squeezing your shoulder blades back together, so activate the muscles in your upper back. And obviously the lower you go down in the squat, the harder that's gonna be, right? So the lower you go, the harder it is. Feet are flat on the ground. Again, we're strengthening the quads here. Oh, hold it if you can, if you need to come up, it's fine. Three, two, one, and relax. Oh, right, there we go. So again, this isn't like a, a high impact workout, but you are still putting stress through the knees and the legs, right? So do what you can. Next exercise is gonna be a one leg stand. So basically what I mean by this, we're gonna challenge ourselves a little bit now. Can we put one foot on the floor, lift our leg up like this, and from there we're gonna just lift our arms. So from the side, up to parallel with the ground. So we're trying to you know, get our shoulders working and really think about balance through that left leg. And obviously trying to keep this one, if you can, driven up there, that engage your core. You can feel your left leg, your standing leg having to work just by balancing, right? So just lift. Again, shoulder blades, pinch your shoulders back together. Arms come up. So lateral raise, squeeze, hold it. Keep lifting those arms. Lovely, we're gonna change legs in a little while. Arms come up and rest. That's great to see that you're gonna see an imbalance. Sometimes you'll feel one leg stronger than the other. This is great to do single leg exercise. So, Look, just by doing that, even like lifting the foot, if you can't bring the knee up, right, even if you're just there, just get used to that sensation of having your, your standing leg do the work, your core's working, obviously if you can, hold up. If not, just keep it off the ground and just do your arms, yeah? Let's go, so, so lifting those arms up. This is great challenging your core, your balance, and you definitely feel instantly in that standing leg. Arms come up, 30 seconds to go. Lift them up, brilliant. Raise the arms. Ooh. Right, so again, I'm a bit wobbly. Look, I can feel myself wobbling. Arms come up nice and high. Squeeze those shoulder blades back together, like pinch them back. Open up the shoulders a little bit. 10 seconds to go on the clock. We're going to go into a little cardio exercise now. So raise the heart rate. Again, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, I can definitely feel that. Brilliant. Right, shake the legs up a little bit. So we're now gonna do a little bit of cardio exercise. We're just gonna be on the spot and we're gonna throw some nice straight punches, okay? So again, feet are planted, 
you can be sort of narrow, you can go wider. And what I want to do here is just throw <laughs> nice straight punches, left to right, getting that heart rate up. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Coming in. 40 seconds. This is exercise number 10. We've got five more minutes to go to finish this workout. So come on, let's raise the heart rate a little bit now. And again, you push, push and pull. So push and pull, they come back to the chin. So we're not doing little short arms like this. We're gonna really think of pushing and pulling. Push, pull. And then keep that tension in the fist. Push, pull, push, pull. All right, good, speed up. Come on, 15 seconds. Let's raise the heart rate, push and pull. Longest arms you've got, stretch them. Stretch them, keep them up. Eye level, last few seconds. Three, two, one, and recover. Excellent, so our heart rate's raised a little bit now. We're now actually gonna go down into a, a higher plank position. So you are gonna be on your hands. So just if you can, if you really struggle with this, maybe you could just do another set of squats. But if you wanna come down, we're gonna go onto our hands and this into a higher plank position, okay? So high plank, and we're gonna bring our left knee in and out. So left knee in and out. Just think about that left knee coming right up to the chest. We're trying to bring the knee up using those abs. You're going to feel your abs engage. As you bring your knee towards your chest, your, your abs and your core have to fire up. So plank positions to start. Knee up, out. Knee up, out. If you're really struggling to bring the knee off the ground, just hold this higher planklet. Hold it and also you can do it from the knees. This is another sort of scale down version. You can just hold the plank from the knees. So hands on the ground, stacked under the shoulder, lift and hold. That's a nice easier version. If you can, it's knee to chest and relax. Awesome, so we're gonna switch sides now. Same thing this time, it's gonna be the right knee coming forwards. And again, if you're really struggling with the plank, it's obviously a lot of pressure through your wrist. You can just go from here, yeah? So look, this is a modified version. So that's a nice beginner plank, obviously a harder plank. And then if you wanna go for the full, the full shebang, it's knee to chest. Okay, let's go. So keeping that back straight, bum down, drive the knee, and out, knee, and out. Good. So we're really squeezing the shoulders and the chest and triceps are working. And you bring your knee up and out. Abs are working there, proper. Ah, I can feel this. Oh. Knee to chest and out. Final. 10 seconds on this one guys, come on, keep it going if you can. If you can't, just stay up and hold the plank, hold it. Three, two more, two, last one, one, and rest, oh. All right, slowly up onto our feet. I am sweating, this is so hot. All right, next exercise, we are gonna do some slow, super slow squats. So what I wanna see here is we're not, we're not dropping down and bouncing up, it's a really slow squat up and down, you just bend as low as you can. So slow, control on the way down, stand up. Slow, control on the way down, stand up. Think about how low you wanna get. It's about opening up your hips, it's about firing up the quads, and obviously sitting into it. The deeper you go, the more muscles you're gonna use. But even from the side, even just like a slow pause at the bottom as well, and up, you know, like a half squat. It's still gonna work your muscles, it's still, it's the start, you know, it's the start and it's the basis of you building your strength. So don't feel pressure to get like 90 degrees with the legs. We're just trying to slow it down. Slow and rest. Right, good news. We've only got two more exercises and we've completed the workout. So what we're gonna do now, let's get our, our trunk, like our core and our obliques working. So we're basically gonna just twist. So elbows up. So we're not, we're not twisting, the feet are staying parallel. We're twisting from here, yeah, so elbows up. Twist, left to right. You'll feel your obliques working here. Just bringing those elbows up and round the body. We're trying to you know, brace this area, so twist. Don't go too far, just go, go as far as your body allows you. You're gonna feel a bit of twist, you know, twisting through the spine. 20 seconds to go, we've got the final exercise. It's been a lovely workout. Nice little introduction, nice and gentle. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you do enjoy my workouts, please hit subscribe, share with your friends and family. I share a new workout every week. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Lovely stuff. Right, so final move. This is it. Let's get a little cardio exercise a little bit quicker, speed things up a little bit. We're going to step like this. We're going to step 
and throw a punch. So we're trying to sort of activate our hamstring so you're kicking your heel back, yeah, kick your heel back towards your bum and try and punch up a little bit higher rather than eye level, punch up higher. Let's go. So it's left, so right, stretching up, big punch, kicking those heels back towards the bottom. Okay, so you're squeezing the hamstrings to pull that heel back. You'll feel that really working the back there, yeah? Come on, let's go. Come on, 25 seconds. Last exercise. Great way to finish the workout. Left, right, good punch up a bit higher. Straight arms, last 15 seconds. Love it, come on, you've done great, nearly there. Last 10 on the clock, stretch and kick. Last few seconds, come on and push. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. There we go, 15 minutes, low impact. Hopefully it was easier on than easy, and it's just giving you that confidence to actually know it. even if you have got pains or injuries, you can work through it and you can actually build the strength, and it's really important to stack if you've got to keep moving. So. Have a lovely day, I hope you enjoyed the workout. If you wanna see more videos, hit subscribe to The Body Coach TV, and if you want more advice and support with your diet and your training and nutrition, check out my brand new app called The Body Coach app. It's amazing, it will change your life, and you can give it a three week trial if you want to. Good luck, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.